This is the East River Power Plant, owned and operated by Consolidated Edison, a publicly traded energy company, and located only 1.1 miles from Times Square in Lower Manhattan. In the latest reporting year, this oil-powered plant emitted almost 2 million metric tons of greenhouse gases, or over 5,300 metric tons a day. U.S.-based facilities directly emit over 2.6 billion tons of greenhouse gases on an annual basis. The pizzeria around the corner that uses the electricity from this plant is part of a vast global carbon supply chain. Tracking and measuring the global impact of carbon emissions using empirical or fact-based data sources is just one component of an emerging field called spatial finance. Investment firms traditionally have looked to financial models and quantitative analysis to drive investment decisions. However, the industry has undergone a significant shift in recent years. Investors are increasingly applying non-financial factors as part of their company analysis. Environmental and societal impacts are now being factored into the process. The term being used for the new criteria is environmental, social, and governance, or ESG for short. But there is a problem. Climate impact and environmental risks have a material change on how investors now see the global playing field. The need to effectively measure and quantify spatial risk is becoming a core part of user workflows for investing and company-related transactions. Governments, regulators, and institutions are all taking a keen interest in measuring the impact of climate and environmental changes and their links to commercial activities and corporate and government ownership. Until now, no authoritative data set focuses on this need. There is a mountain of information on companies in the public domain. There are hundreds of open domain sites with climate, environmental, and social data, but no one has yet to develop a solution to unify and geographically map these data sources for any given company to understand its climate exposure and environmental social impacts. Having a data-driven solution to accomplish this is a huge missing piece of the puzzle. We are Spatial Risk Systems, or SRS, founded by data science leaders in the financial sector, FactSet, Bridgewater, and Moody's. We have developed an innovative data solution, a spatial knowledge graph that can track a company's assets down to the census tract and zip plus four level. Our data solution will allow an investor to track a company's assets with geographical precision and then draw from the hundreds of open data sources to track climate, environmental, and social data for each asset location. With SRS, a user can build new financial models that assess and quantify climate, environmental, and societal impacts as part of the model. With our spatial knowledge graph, we can effectively map any company's operational footprint, allowing us to analyze thousands of risk factors and quantify these factors into four major groups. Climate impact, environmental risk, community vulnerability, and community resiliency. Our secret sauce is unifying and standardizing a vast number of data sources, providing the ability to measure and quantify facility risk by choosing, evaluating, and testing from thousands of factors, and providing the ability to connect to existing financial sector identifiers. We're the first solution to provide this insight by using fact-based data sources effectively. You can accurately measure and get a ground-level view of your investments by asset location. You can then easily integrate the information into other financial data and creative models previously unobtainable. Spatial Risk Systems, the art of now. ESG is transforming the global asset management industry. Data inconsistencies abound, creating confusion amongst institutions, regulators, and plan sponsors.
Effective data governance, unifying and standardizing fact-based sources, creates a new way in which to measure and quantify spatial level risks. The resulting geospatial knowledge graph organizes and exposes thousands of factors in a simple and organized manner. The result is a ratings methodology that can be broken into its individual components and constituents, providing data transparency and auditability that was previously unattainable. It's a large market, ripe for a facility-level, fact-based solution. Led by data experts from the financial sector with a proven ability to execute. The market is already starting to validate our model. An experienced team with global operating capabilities greatly minimizes overall execution risks.